Hi guys, so today I have yet another Killstar haul. Now I know I've done one recently, but with Black Friday I ended up buying three more dresses, a pair of gloves and also some jewellery. So I thought I'd do a quick haul just to show you these new pieces. So these dresses are all relatively new to December 2015. So the first one I saw and I just, I couldn't resist. So it is again this style of dress, which I keep going back for. I have it in this print, I have the plain black one, I have both of the tie-dye ones. It just seems to be coming quite an obsession. But black and red is my favorite color combination ever. So when I saw this, I had to get it. I also love the fact that they'd switched up the just normal circular buttons for these little skull and crossbone buttons. I thought that was a really nice feature. But the only thing I don't really like about this is the velvet collar and the fact that it has also put these velvet strips around the edges of the sleeves. Now I know this might be quite controversial but I'm not really that into velvet. I don't own that many velvet pieces. I just find that the material reminds me of pyjamas um, so I just don't really tend to like to wear it. Um, I did know that this was velvet when I bought it. It did say fully in the description all the materials used. But I didn't quite think it was going to be that thick. The reason I don't really like the collar being velvet is that with this thin material that they use for the normal collars, they sit very nicely, they don't sort of mess around at all, they just, they just happily be a collar. Whereas the velvet sort of has a little bit of a mind of its own, as you can see it sort of flicks round, it curls about. So you do have to not constantly sort of play with it, but you kind of have to keep checking it just to make sure it isn't sort of flying about. Um, and kind of looking more like a turtleneck rather than an actual collar. It's exactly the same design as all of the other dresses in this style. It has a zip down the back and it also has this little ribbon just to cinch you in at the waist. Now at first this ribbon really put me off of these dresses. Um, when I got the original doll dress I was contemplating just pulling the ribbon out but really these ribbons are a godsend. They just make the dress so much more flattering. They kind of hug your shape more and you can sort of make it more fitted to you personally. The sleeves on these are slightly tight so but be warned I am currently wearing a size large and I got this also in a size large and I've never had this problem with any of the other doll style dresses but the velvet stops it from stretching at all so it can get quite tight around your arms especially if you're like me and you have sort of quite large upper arms um, it can be kind of restricting I found if I sort of pull the sleeves down like this, it doesn't hurt so much. It just is kind of an annoying feature to this dress. So although I've just said a hundred negatives about this dress, I do really love it and I think the colour combination is amazing. And I think that the shade of red they've gone for is definitely the perfect sort of thing to contrast with the black. true to size it fits like all the other ones and also like the original doll dress and also this um, cosmic death dress I am wearing it is the slightly longer style which it isn't at all a long dress it just means you don't have to constantly worry about flashing to everyone I will link this dress below again as I said I did get these in the sales so they were around 30% off so they were slightly cheaper hence why I went and bought another one of this dress I am trying to limit myself and trying to stop buying these dresses because this is all my wardrobe consists of at the moment saying that I did go and buy another collared dress although it is slightly different to the normal ones I buy so this one, straight off you can see, is all black, which is a first for these kind of dresses. Now, I did see that they bought out sort of this full black look with the velvet collar, but I really wanted a leather collar, so I got the leather collared version one. Now, there are a lot of differences to this, which I didn't actually realise when purchasing this dress. So again, it does have a couple of buttons down the front, but in no way are they, they as large and statement as these three ones on the normal doll dress design. It doesn't have a zip down the back or on the side, it is purely a pull over the head dress. The waist is very elasticated, so whereas the normal doll dresses have more of a skater skirt, these ones are more of a pleated skirt, and be warned, they do puff out a lot. 
so it does sort of add a few inches around the hips. Again, this dress is a great length, it's perfect for wearing with and without a cardigan and there's no need to constantly worry about it blowing up and everyone seeing your underwear. Now, again, my main critique with this is the material used. So unlike all of my other doll dresses, this is made out of a different type of material. It's not a cotton, it doesn't feel as breathable and it feels very synthetic. When I wear this dress, it's almost like I'm wearing a swimming costume. It's that kind of cheaper feeling material. Now, I'm not normally disappointed with Killstar, but this material is the kind of thing I'd expect from a site like Dresslink or something which is a wholesale, very cheap clothing manufacturer. Not something where you're spending 40, 50 pounds on a dress. Saying that, it does give a very sort of shiny look and it is good to have a bit of variety in your wardrobe as I seem to be going for the same sort of styles so I think this does help just to switch up and gives me again another option for something to wear. I did get this in a size large but this material unlike the cotton ones is extra extra stretchy so I would go as far to say if they don't have your size you can size down because I, I feel like this material would sort of stretch around even if it was slightly too small for you. And unlike the sort of cheaper brands who use this type of material, the material is not see-through, which I guess is a definitely a sort of quality factor. So you are paying a bit more for this material to be a bit thicker, which is great. I find with my body shape, I'm very sort of heavily built on the top and I have very large hips. Um, and when you have very large hips, wearing something pleated can be a no-go because these pleats can sit right on your hips and they end up puffing out and you just look the oddest, frumpiest shape going. So although this can be avoided with like pulling the dress up and sort of getting the pleats where your waist is smallest, it is sort of very hard to keep this appearance all day. So I tend with this dress to wear a cardigan just because I feel like without a cardigan, the pleats do make me look very unflattering. from their new range. Now I don't know if possibly they rushed their new range and they didn't think too much about the design and the way that the dresses fit but this may just be because I feel like most of Killstar dresses are designed for smaller people. So I was sort of struck um, lucky when I found this style of dress because I feel that it kind of suits my body shape but whereas this one I feel like we're straying a little bit further away more to the smaller end of the spectrum. So this last dress I got, I was very unsure about. I put it in my basket, I took it out of my basket, I put it in my basket, and it wasn't until they had the Cyber Monday sale which I bought this dress. Now Killstar had their Black Friday sale where everything was 30% off, and then Cyber Monday, they dropped the prices even further. And I think this is because they were just getting rid of stock. They've had a whole weekend of sales and now they were left with the odd bits. Now this is their new design and as soon as I saw it, I knew that this was going to get sold out. So when I put it in my basket, I was tempted to buy it straight away, but I was slightly sceptical because this dress is definitely made for smaller people. And if you have boobs, this dress could potentially be way too revealing. So holding this dress up, it's going to just look like a tangle of string but the front is actually a pentagram so I'm going to insert a picture right now just to show you what it looks like because holding this up is going to be impossible. As you can see there's not a lot of coverage on the chest area of this dress and I was sceptical because I wasn't sure how revealing it was going to be. Um, I didn't want it to be the point where my boobs were going to be falling out also, all the models I saw wearing it were all wearing it without a bra, so I was slightly sceptical. But in the end, the sale got me and I ended up buying it. And this dress is fastly becoming one of my favourite dresses. So this dress is definitely not suitable for my work. Um, it's one of those dresses where I feel it needs to be a particular occasion for you to wear it. 
Now I think this dress is perfect when it's teamed with a cardigan or even a leather jacket. But then she noticed me glance at her. I had no choice but to dance with her. Working at a school, my style um, and the way I dress is definitely toned down during the week. So this is definitely a weekend dress where I get to wear things which are slightly less um, conservative and definitely more suited to my style. I was slightly worried that this dress was going to come in this sort of swimming costume material because I knew if it came in this material there was no way I'd be able to wear this dress but it did come in the same material as the skater um, doll dresses, which is a really nice heavy cotton. So although the straps are really thin, they all feel really sturdy and I've had no problems with them going out of shape. When you put it on, it is slightly confusing, but as soon as you get your arms through the right holes, you then do have this perfect pentagram on your chest. Again, Killstar have made this dress slightly too short um, I am quite a short person, I am only 5 foot 4 and I find with this dress all I need to do is slightly bend over and my whole bum is showing. So I don't know if that is because I do have a very long torso and very short legs but it is something to consider. However I have loads of cardigans which are quite long so teaming this with a longer cardigan completely sorts this issue out. So this dress is sort of modelled without a bra. Um, I find not wearing a bra with this dress, especially if you are of a larger boob size, it can be slightly risky. I have worn this once without a bra and I constantly, and I mean constantly, was pulling it, making sure that everything was in place and it is very unforgiving. So if you do sort of move in the wrong way, everything can pop out in every direction. So I find wearing a bra with this dress is definitely a lot easier. Although this means that you'll have sort of straps going up the side, I don't think it takes away from the overall look. I mean the whole thing is strapped anyway, so I feel like adding another two straps doesn't ruin the design at all. I am aware that you can wear strapless bras and this solves this issue. With my boob size I find strapless bras are so incredibly annoying and they don't do the job, they just sort of sit there and create even more frustration. Again, like all of my other Killstar dresses, I got this in a size large and it fits me perfectly. So I have noticed recently that Killstar have bought out this exact dress, but a lot longer, it's floor length. But be careful because it does have a slit all the way up the leg, which is something I didn't notice at first, but I'm glad I did notice because if I hadn't have noticed this and bought it, I probably wouldn't have worn it. So I'd say this is probably one of my best buys from Killstar in this haul. So the next item I got from Killstar are these gloves. Now I am really picky when it comes to gloves and I have to have fingerless ones. Although you could argue that they're not as warm as normal ones, I feel like they're much more practical because you can still use your phone and you can still do normal activities without them getting in the way. I find that full gloves kind of restrict you for what you can and can't do. So I do know that they do these gloves in different designs and the knuckles say different things. I think one of them may say goth and dead, I'm not quite sure, but I just went for Killstar. But I did like the design of these, I wasn't too keen on the other designs and I felt that Killstar is just, it's just a brand name, it's not offensive in any way and I can wear this sort of to work and things and I'm not going to have any issues with them. They do come in one size, um, I have relatively small hands and they fit me okay, I guess the little fingers are slightly long but as I said I do have really small hands. Um, the actual writing is a plastic um, sort of transfer which I guess is kind of annoying because it means that it can peel and it can crack and it just isn't a very nice texture. I would have much preferred them to have sort of embroidered the letters in but it's not that much of an issue, it would have just been a very nice finishing touch. The edges of the gloves are also slightly frayed. Now, I don't really care about this. I like things that look a little bit beaten up and a little bit worn. But if you are looking for perfectly cut and perfectly edged gloves, these are not the gloves for you. They do also have a little label that says Killstar. It's not too in your face. It doesn't ruin the look of the gloves. In the sweat turns too cold. We're slaves to the DJ and out of control. 
gloves weren't an extortionally expensive price for gloves and they are very warm and they do feel really comfy. Last but not least I did get this nice little pouch and it does have a necklace in. Now I have bought a Kilsar necklace before but it's been quite a long time so I thought that it was definitely time to treat myself to a new Killstar necklace. I have been looking at these necklaces for quite a long time. Um, the only thing that put me off is the dimensions. When they're, when they're written down, they look crazy. Like, for me, it just seemed way too big. But I ended up buying it in the sale and I'm so pleased I did. It's definitely the right length. I do like sort of these larger necklaces to be quite long. And I also feel like this is just, it's just the perfect size. It's not too big, um, it doesn't get in your way at all, but it's definitely large enough to look really bold and stand out against your outfit. Also, this pendant has quite a large sort of loop for the chain to go through, which means it can really easily be taken off and put onto another chain if you prefer your necklaces different lengths or if you wanted to apply it to a different piece of jewellery. Killstar also haven't gone out of their way to write their name all over this, which is a thing which I do find Killstar like to do. They do like to plaster their brand name over everything, which is understandable, but they have just put it really nicely on this tiny little plaque which is um, just at the back where the clasp is so it's not in your face but it's definitely there and although these necklaces are kind of I think they're a bit overpriced um, when they are first bought out onto the site as soon as you get a sale these are bumped down by £10 and then they are sort of a really reasonable price for the quality of necklace that you're getting <laughs> So that's everything I got from a Killstar and it's probably the last Killstar haul I'll be doing in 2015, although these are becoming increasingly common. I'm sure in 2016 they're going to bring out loads more designs of clothes and probably some more doll dresses which I will end up buying eventually. So um, I will probably be doing some more hauls. I'm sure in 2016 they're going to bring out loads more designs of clothes and probably some more doll dresses which I will end up buying eventually. So um, I will probably be doing some more hauls. I have done an outfit of the day which included some of these Killstar items I showed you today. So I will link that below in the description. I hope you have a fantastic week and you're having a lovely December and I will see you next time. Bye!